my friends. You know, sometimes I watch videos about how to make videos. And, uh, oh, it's got to be a fight between good and evil, and you be the good, and fight the evil, or define the problem and work towards the solution. We're going to go on a trip and tell us where we're going and have some problems along the way. Sorry, this ain't going to be one of those. No storyline. No problem. Just what I call potpourri. Random clips of my retired life here on the north shore of Lake Chapala in Ahi, Jalisco, Mexico. <laughs> Cleaning up my memory cards, that's what I'm doing. Enjoy. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Three weeks ago, I predicted that the lake would be filling up. Check this out. It's up into the federal zone. A lot of rain, a lot of flowers. Check this out. The Copa de Oro is gone plum crazy. And why do they call it the cup of gold? As the most I have ever seen, and they're still coming. Lots and lots of unopened flowers yet. Wow. Flowers. The flowers and the butterflies. These are avocado seeds. There's another one there. I noticed another one was down there. Avocados are falling out of the tree and the skunks and the squirrels and the uh, opossums. They uh, have a feast. There's another avocado seed. Love this time of year in Ahihik on the north shore of Lake Chapala, Jalisco, Mexico. What's going on with you today? <laughs> hmm? Well, maybe next time. No. Glasses? Thank you. Then I will show you your earring. Well, should we all vote on this? <laughs> huh? Mira Lee. If you can see. Oh, wow. It looks yeah. really good in the back. Mira. Yeah. Mira. Oh, so you have a fun, too. Good job, Patty. Thank yeah, you. Gracias. Where are you going with your new hairdo? Out to dinner at the Blue Rose? Okay. All right. So, should I be nervous that that gun is pointed right at me? Kind of motioned at him to raise the gun a little bit. It wasn't pointed right at me, and he just waved. Yeah. Fortunately, fortunately he waved his hand, and not, there he goes. He's waving again. Luna and I are watching some America's Got Talent, 
And guess who's here with us? People ask me, why don't I get a dog? Do I look like I need a dog? It's my neighbor's dog. But anytime they're not home, he comes over here to be with us. He's a friendly guy, and he likes people. The video's working. <laughs> My friend Mario. Dueling cameras. <laughs> so let me see yours. Yeah. I'm getting kind of. at Walmart. A couple of weeks ago, I bought some pepperoni and I wasn't going to make a video about it, but today I decided to because the second thing happened. Let me show you the pepperoni. A pack of pepperoni and you pick it up and uh, you look at it and you decide, yeah, okay, I'll buy it. Here's what they did. They put, they wrapped the, the package first in order to Put all of that space in there before they stack the pepperoni on it. So it looks like you're getting a tray full and you're getting like a little bit of nothing. And I calculated it out at $18, 18 U.S. dollars per pound. I don't know if that's a good price or a bad price. And I don't mind it. It's not about the money. It's about the trick. Excuse my language. But today, I'm making Vietnamese pork chops. I got everything in there. So I get out my four pork chops. Pork chop number one. Pork chop number two. You know, picked it up, bought four, a package of four pork chops. Pork chop number three. Pork chop number four. Can you see how thick that is? It's nothing. Thought I bought four pork chops. Bought three pork chops and whatever the heck they call out. Thank you, Walmart. And it's not about the price or the value. It's the fact that it's a trick. It's false advertising. It's misrepresenting what you're getting. I got picked up a package with four pork chops in it. I didn't get four pork chops. I picked up a package of pepperoni with... A tray full of pepperoni. I didn't get a tray full of pepperoni. And again, I don't mind paying the price, but don't try to trick me. New restaurant in Ahihik. This is just what they bring you uh, uh, before you order. Took the lovely Lynn out to celebrate her new hairdo. Pork, really good. Gotta love a country that gives you beans. Quesadilla with the same pork inside. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. Grilled onions. I'll be back. Carnes asada. PPL. This year, some good eating. I'm going to miss this in Arizona. Are you ready to go to the United States of America? I'm ready. What Just get, about. What are you going to do when you get there? I'm going to buy ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of what kind of ice cream? Uh, peanut butter chocolate. Peanut butter chocolate. Yeah. Uh, I think they call it uh, peanut butter park. Okay. At the Dollar General. At the Dollar General. And the other one is cone. Cone. Cone is not the name of it. What's the real name? Drumstick. Drumstick. Yeah. So, um, 
ice cream. That's your big plan? Oh, yeah. One of them. What about seeing your kids? Uh, that's, that's very important to me. Very, very. Uh, you requested yes. that we sit here and make a video today. Why did you do that? Because I have something to tell you. Oh, you're not pregnant. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when, when skies, skies are, are gray. gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You know, I have this person who comments on my YouTube channel all the time. Uh -huh. His name is Mike's Road Tripper. And years ago, he's been commenting for a long time. Years ago, he claimed that he was your biggest fan. And I objected to that and told him, no, I'm your biggest fan. So all of these years since, he claims to be your second biggest fan. Okay, Mike, that song was for you, too. No, 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 no. <laughs> I told him I was going to dedicate a song. Oh, well. But it's the one we did a yeah. few days ago that I'm dedicating to Mike. Okay. Your biggest fan is me, and Mike's your second biggest fan. <laughs> you have a what? A short song. A short song. Yeah. Okay, do you want to sing it for us? Yeah, yeah I will. <clears throat> <clears throat> Robin, Robin, I've been thinking what in the world have you been drinking? Is it whiskey? Is it wine? Oh my gosh, it's turpentine. Rachel, Rachel, I've been thinking. Where in the world would you be if the men were all transported far beyond the northern sea? Oh, thank you. Reuben and Rachel? Reuben and Rachel. You want to hear a Rastus and Eliza joke? <laughs> I don't remember it. Is it something that can be played on the air? No, it's not. Well, uh, it's not rated for turn you. Turn off the to... camera and tell me. How do you feel about um, uh, the the uh, maid Dora and her family living in our house? I feel great for a month. I love it. Yeah. Well, me too. They're going to be quite a group of them, I understand. But we were talking today about how wonderful it'll be for her and Danny to have all their kids be able to come and live at their house again because when the kids grew up, there wasn't room for them in their house. Yeah. <laughs> and so they're living with different members of the family. But now they can all be together, which is what we're going to do when we go to Arizona. We're going to be together. Um, well, we are at home. Is this where I uh, brag about my son? Sure. Why not? My son. Oh, um, I know what you're going to say. Sells insects for a living and collects insects, and he's not a degreed entomologist, but entomologists from all over the world call him for things to know about bugs and uh, his website is bugs in cyberspace but what i want to brag about is that he discovered a new praying mantis <laughs> and it's taken about a year <laughs> but uh they named it after him officially i hope i get i hope i get the latin part of it right Stag momentus clausoni. Yeah, that's it. This will be the first time in doing, 
I think, uh, eight, maybe nine years of YouTube yeah. that I've ever said my last name on YouTube. Our last name is Clausen, and the new mantis is Stagmomantis Clausenai. Way to go, son. Yeah, <laughs> we're proud of you. And we're coming to see you next week. In the past, we've made these uh, we're going to go to the United States videos from our wonderful retirement home here in Mexico. But we've always had this conversation about packing. Oh, yes. See, I think that what I need to pack is what I need for a three-hour plane ride. And you seem to think that you need to pack for all the time you're going to be gone. <laughs> uh, remember when we were boaters? Yeah. We, have, we were having the same conversation. But like, we... I said, no, I, I, I have an extra toothbrush on the boat. I have extra underwear on the boat. I don't need to carry the stuff back and forth all the time. Well, the underwear, you got to wash that, but, or you could swishle it in the creek, but. <laughs> the point is that I have, except for my electronics, which I can't afford to replace my cameras and my iPhone and my iPad and that stuff, but um, all the rest of the stuff, I don't need to take it back and forth and back and forth. Why do you have... Are you leaving why me do at you, home? No, I'm not. Oh. But I would really be happy if you left the four pounds of lipstick at home. They got lipstick in Arizona. I'm going to get some of it, too. And then bring it back. And bring it back. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I love you. I love you. But I don't love everything about you. <laughs> uh, anyway, hey, friends. We'll see you in Arizona. Bye. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.